everyone! So today I have this really cute tutorial for this really cute pig. And um, cute is probably my favorite word in all of my tutorials. You will hear it in every single one of my tutorials, I promise you. Anyways, um, in one of my tutorials, I think it might have been the teddy bear one, um, I got so many requests for a pig charm or figurine or whatever. Um, I think one person commented it and then it started like a whole feud of a bunch of people commenting a pig. And so when I was checking um, in my feed of comments, I just saw pig over and over and over again. So anyways, um, I didn't spend too long um, or too much hard work finding this design. I found it quite easily, which is probably why I like it so much because it is very easy, except for this nose right here. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need your loom, your hook, and two shades of pink, um, and uh, black as well. Um, you could use other colors instead of pink if you wanted a different color pig, but um, I'm just going to make the typical pig, which is pink. So um, I will be using two shades. Um, the pink is just regular pink from the Rainbow Loom uh, web store, and um, the lighter pink here is from the mixed skin tones package here um this is basically what the mixed skin tones package looks like i do not have like the actual bag with me but it's in regular rainbow loom packaging and i just put it in this container here because i have two packs in here or i used to anyways i use this a lot so um I'm using the lighter pink for that, and the quantities you will need are about uh, approximately 51 of the dark pink, 17 of the light pink, and 6 of the black. So I did come up with three pigs um, in the exact order that you are seeing them here. Um, I came up with this one with the black nose, and I didn't really like how that came out. So, oh. So then I came up with this light pink one, which is kind of cute, but I was not really loving it that much. And then I came up with this one with dark pink in the middle, which I like this one best. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this one with the dark pink. But if you are wanting to make any of the other ones, such as these two, then I will let you know um, in the video the time where you can substitute the, light, the dark pink on the nose here for the light pink or the black. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with our looms arrows pointing down for this. And yes, this design is based off of my cute baby panda design. So if you've made that, then this should be a pretty familiar design. So first we're going to take double bands and go vertically. Um, you can use a single band a single band for this as well if you'd like, but I like using double bands for extra secureness. And we're going to use double bands for this whole project. So if you don't know what I'm using, it's double bands. So we're going to make this kind of three pin sort of thing here. And now we're going to do three um, vertical strips of uh, double pink bands. And this is the darker pink, by the way, obviously. And we're going to make one more row. like that. So you should have something like this now. And now we're going to take double of our lighter pink bands. So use double of those and we're going to go in the middle here. Like that. So now you should have something like this. Now we're going to go ahead and close off the head of the pig. So you're going to go diagonally here and to the right. Like that. Now we're going to create the neck, use double bands for this, and now we're going to move on to the body here. So for this we're going to um, be using double bands still, still using the dark pink here, and make another little triangle here. Now we're going to use dark pink, or our darker shade, and go double bands on the left side in the right side only. Do not put them in the middle. So you should have something like this now. 
Now we're going to move on and use our light pink bands for a while. So you're going to take double of these, go vertically in the center here, and then this whole row of double light pink bands. like that. So you should now have something like this. Now we're going to make one whole row of dark pink bands here. So use double dark pink and make one whole row. Like that. So you should now have something like this. Now we're going to make the legs, so for this you're going to use double dark pink bands and go vertically on the left side here, like that, as well as on the right side, like that. We're going to add two cap bands on the bottom, two pins right here, and these will be black. So we're going to use single bands for this now, so take a single black band and wrap it around each of these uh, two pins three times. So one, two, and three. Got a triple loop band here, and do the same thing onto this pin here with another single black band. So one, two, and three. So you should now have something like this, and I'll give you a little run through of my loom so far. Like that. And now we're going to go ahead and add on the arms and ears. So first we're going to add on the arms, so you're going to use double bands for this. And I'm taking my darker pink and going vertically here where the shoulders are of the pig. And do the same thing to the left side, since obviously it needs a left and right arm like that. When you're done, we're now going to take single black bands and we're going to wrap around each of these two pins three times. So that way they match the legs or the back hind feet, I guess. This again three times, two and three. So you should now have something like this. Triple loop black band here and double pink bands going vertically. We're going to scoot up to the top of our loom, and now we're going to use our light pink bands. You're going to take one pink band, one light pink band, and you're going to double loop it across these two pins, basically meaning you're going to fold it on top of itself. So you're going to stretch it across, give it a little twist, twist it, and put it back onto itself. That's also like a cat band almost. And you're going to do the same thing to the right side single light pink band, stretch it across the two pins, give it a little tug, twist it into a figure eight, Oops. and now fold it back onto itself like that. Since pigs have small ears, these are going to be smaller ears. Now we're going to use dark pink bands to do our cat bands. So we're going to take a single darker pink band and we're going to wrap, wrap it around each of these two pins four times. So we did three times for the black hooves, but we're going to do four times for these darker pinks. So one, two, three, and four. Like that. And do the same thing on the left side. One, two, three, and four. So you should have um, single dark pink bands wrapped around each of these two pins four times each. Now we're going to add on the eyes. So you're going to need your last two remaining black bands for this. You're going to add one of them on, take a single black band and wrap it around this center pin of the face here four times. So one, two, three, and four. Like that and I'll zoom you in for this next one here. You're going to take one, your last single black band and wrap it around this pin four times. So one, two, three, four, like that. 
so you should now have something like this and we're now going to add on the nose for the pig so this is um, probably one of the hardest parts of this design so what you're going to do is you're going to scoot down to the empty space down here at the bottom of your loom so right here you're going to be using your light pink bands for this and um, as well as your dark pink so now's the part when we're going to create the nose here so this basically just depends what color you want on the nose so uh, first we'll be adding on bands that make this kind of strip in the middle so it just depends whether you want black light pink or dark pink like on this pig right here this dark pink strip here so for me I will be making a one with the dark pink strip but um, you're gonna take whatever color you want right now for the strip that goes in the middle, not the circle part. So I'm going to use dark pink. You're going to um, start here and use single bands for this and go vertically here and then vertically on the pin below it. She said, ha sorry there's a wall back here by the way. You should have something like this. Now you're going to take double of your light pink bands here and wrap it around this center pin three times. So one two and three. Oh, this one got undone. Okay, so I now have those two um, pink black bands, I mean pink um, bands wrapped around three times each on this pin. Now we're going to use our hook and we're going to do a little bit of hooking here. So you're going to reach inside this cap band here and grab the um, first dark pink band that you see. So this is going to be this bottom one right here. You're going to kind of circle around so you can pick it up, pull it over the pin, and then hook it downwards to this bottom pin here. So you should have something like this. Now you're going to hook the last band, which is going to go vertically, like that. So you now have this cap band here with these two bands that are hooked outwards. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bottom band from the outside. You're not going to go inside the band, but stay on the outside. Grab the bottom layer and pull it over the pin and release. Do the same thing on this side, bottom layer here, over the pin and release. So you should now have something like this. And I'll give you a little bit of time in case you are taking a, a little longer. And um, when you're done, you're going to take your hook and give these remaining bands that are on the pins a little tug so that way you can tighten them. Like that. So now once you're done, we're going to go ahead and just take this off of our loom. So just slip this off like that. And we're going to move up to the face of our pick at the top of our loom here. So what you're going to do, remove this from your loom, I mean from your hook and you're going to, you should have your nose here like this. You're going to hold it out so that way the two ends are sticking out through the sides like this and spread it across these bottom two pins that are here at the bottom of the face of the pig, like that. We're going to double loop each of the ends because this is kind of loose here. So you're going to take one end here on the right. This part's a lot easier than it sounds, but you're just going to grab it, twist it, and fold it back over itself that way you've now double looped it. So you should have it double looped on the pin here. We're going to do the same thing to the right side. So you're going to grab this end that's on the pin here, pull it outwards, make a figure eight. So you twisted it here and then fold this over and onto the pin like that. So you've now double looped the two ends here of the pig's nose. Now we're going to go ahead and add on some horizontal bands. So for the horizontal bands, we're going to start at the top of our loom. I'm going to use my dark pink bands for this and make a triangle. It goes across the loom like that. The bottom two should be where the eyes are. So now you're going to do the same thing on the next three. Just push those bands down a little bit and make a triangle here. Like that. So you should have two triangles here. Scoot your loom down to the body of the pig now. We're going to use a light pink band for this, so take a single light pink band. All of these bands that we're putting on are single bands, by the way. So you're going to take that single band and put it on. Now we're going to take a darker, the darker pink and put it across in another triangle below the previous one that we just put on. 
And now we're going to make one more, but this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to use a single dark pink band again. We're going to start on the bottom left pin. And instead of going like this, we're going to go around this middle pin. And then take the end that's still in your fingers and attach it to the bottom right. So you should have something like that now. We are now ready um, to start a little bit of small hooking processes before we can start on the whole body. So before we start, we're going to go ahead and make sure that your loom looks like this. And if so, we can now go ahead and start hooking. We're first going to start here on the eyes, so you're going to take your hook, and the purpose of this is to get the eyes to cinch here in the middle of this horizontal band. So you're going to take your hook, and you're going to hook over these black bands. Don't go inside of this horizontal band here, make sure you stay on the outside, and you just want to grab those black bands and pull them over the pin. You can grab one at a time, or you can grab all of them at a time if you'd like. It doesn't matter as long as they all end up on this middle band here. So you should have something like that now. We're going to do the same thing onto the left side, so you're going to use your hook and grab these black bands and hook over. Do the same thing again, like that. And sorry if you hear a loud noise or somewhat loud noise in the background because my sister is upstairs doing who knows what with her toys. So anyways, um, now we're going to go ahead and hook the ears and arms. So we're going to start at the top of our loom and we are going to hook the ears now. So you're going to use your hook, go inside of this cap band and circle around so that way you can grab these double, this double loop band here. Pull it off of the pin here and hook it downwards like that. And be careful because this part does cause a bit of stress or tension on your hook, so just be a little bit aware of that. So you're going to do the same thing onto the left side. Stick your hook inside the cap band, circle around, and grab this double loop band. You're going to hook it downwards, and my cap band fell off, but that's okay. I'll just hook it downwards here, like that. So if your cap band did not fall off, then you should have the same thing that's here. But if it did, that's okay. I'm just going to, just for visual purposes, for any more beginner loomers out there, it might be easier just to know that my loom looks the same as yours. So as you can see, it did have the same effect as the right side did. So nothing wrong happened here with my loom. So now we're going to go down and we're going to hook the bands for the arms. So this is basically the same process, just less tension on your hook. Go inside the cap bands, circle around, grab these double bands, and hook them downwards. Do the same thing on the left side again. Stick your hook inside, circle around, and my cap band almost fell off again, and then hook these downwards. So you should now have something like that. We are now ready to start the hooking process on the whole entire length of our loom. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bands out of the way here. And let's go ahead and start. So we're going to hook the feet first. You're going to go inside of this cap band, grab these bands, and hook upwards. Same thing on the right side. Like that. I'm going to hook this next row here upwards and you're going to be going inside of this horizontal band make sure you're going inside of that then grabbing the double bands there so now on this pin we won't be going inside of any bands you're simply going to use your hook and grab all the bands that appear here at the slit of the pin and then hook those upwards continue the hooking process like a normal triple single bracelet so just hook normally So I've got that middle row done of light pink bands. And now that last row here. So if you're not to this point yet, go ahead and pause the video. If not, we're going to go ahead and proceed. So we're now going to hook these two bands that go inwards here. So you're going to start on the left side. Make sure you go inside all the bands here because there are a ton of bands here. And then grab only the bottom two. These should be hooked inwards. And do the same thing on the right side. Make sure you go inside all the bands. Got one here, and then going in for another. Like 
like that. So you should now have something like this here on your loom. And if you are done with that part, go ahead and we're going to hook this middle neck band here. So hook that upwards. From here again, it is just normal hooking process. There is nothing special. So just grab the top two bands that should be going to the right and the next two. and then the center ones. Ignore the dot that we made, just hook right over it. And we're gonna continue hooking like normal. Now we're going to hook this middle one. Again, ignore this dot. In fact, use the back of your hook to push it out of the way if needed. Grab those bands and hook upwards. Now we just gotta hook this last row here, as well as the middle um, inwards bands. like that. So if you are to this point yet, um, then we're going to go ahead and continue on. Just go here, hook this inwards, see you on this side. And lastly, we're going to hook these double bands that go vertically. Okay. So before we go any further, we're going to make sure that your loom looks like this. And if so, let's go back up to the top of my loom. We're going to tie this off. If you don't want to tie your creation off, go ahead and use a C-clip and just slip it onto these bands that are on this top pin here. If not, I'm going to show you how to tie this off without a C-clip. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to grab these bottom bands. Like I say in all of my tutorials, do not go inside the pin, stay on the outside. Grab these bottom bands and hook over the pin and release. So that way you should have something like that. You're going to grab the remaining bands on the pin with your hook and give them a little tug. And we have now tied off this um, creation here. So um, when you are done with the hooking process, you can go ahead and take this off of your loom. So this is what I have now, and obviously this is a very deformed looking pig, so we're going to go ahead and fix up its snout here. So um, this um, blob right here is actually the circle band that we put that was kind of a weird band, and so it should be going in between this light pink link here. So what I want to do is get it through the middle of this link. So I'm just going to pull the right side over so that way it surrounds this middle nose. Then once you've found the nose, you just want to pull it through that middle light pink link so that way it sticks out a little bit more since the pig's nose does protrude out a little bit. Then when you're done, go ahead and just stretch out your design a little bit just to even everything out. And we are now done with this super cute little pig charm. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I got so, so many requests for a tutorial for this um, in one of my animal figure mini figurine um, tutorials. I can't quite remember which one it was. I think it might have been the teddy bear, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, I think one person commented a pig, and then that just started a whole, um, just a whole string of more uh, pig tutorial requests. So anyways, I really hope you guys like this design. I, I think it's fairly easy, so it should be... Um, pretty easy for you all to um, more a little slightly more advanced than like a beginner loomer to make it so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and also hit the subscribe button on the way out and follow me on or find me on Instagram Pinterest Twitter and Facebook my links are all in the description box below and I will see you guys later bye <laughs>